even before the, the salat. We are not dis defining ablution. We are just letting us know in our English meaning, ablution is the washing of the washing, washing of some part of the body with water. Some part of the body. Yes. If the Imam al Ma'al al Adol which is even the, the meaning the scholar has given to it also, it is using water al al Adol on some part of the body which involves the face, the hands, the head, the leg, and with the intention of taking away anything that will prevent you from uh, observing salat. And that uh, we have authority as to that. When Allah mentioned in Maida, I assist, yeah, man who you believe is a home to Mila Salat, when you stand for salat, if absolutely would you have come wash your face, why idea come the almarofik your hand to the the elbow from sahu be rusikum rub or wipe your head wa rujilukum and wash your leg ila kabe to the ankle. And Abu Burero mentioned a hadith, one of the hadiths available, that there is no salat for anyone who is dirty or which ablution spoiled until after he has performed the ablution. In a hadith by Abu Sa'id al Khodri, the Prophet said the key to salat is purification. So it means you cannot perform ablution, you cannot perform salat without ablution, except when there is necessity to do tayamu. And we are not looking at tayamu now. Because tayamu, some, some people don't even, we don't even do tayamu today. So it means some people not to know how to do tayamu. Maybe it's because you have not traveled. There's the day I travel, it doesn't from Abuja here. Our car spoiled on the way, and we slept on the way. Time for salat to the shy. People were going inside the bush to look for water. Me, I did tayamu. Time to pray the search no did because I did not perform a mission. <laughs> <laughs> In a hadith of Abu Mali, he said purification is half of the faith. And there are a lot of virtues to ablution. One, it is half of the faith, just from the hadith we just mentioned. It is half of the faith. Number two, it cleans away the minor sin of someone. Because the hadith is when you have a you wash your face, the sin committed by the face will be washed off. You wash the hand, the one of the hand will be washed off. The head will be washed off. You think, ah, how did my head perform ablution? Did I? I'm not a good man. Did I help somebody? You, the ear, the one of hearing, the leg, the one of moving. But that does not mean you should not plan sin. <laughs> you just go and commit sin. Finish going to steal us. You know, the steal. The eye saw that in the leg, the hand, then you now come up with a vision. <laughs> when you plant seed, you see you are testing Allah. And you don't test Allah. Yes, one of it is it raises the, stat the status of a, of, of, of a slave. The Prophet said, Allah adoluk wala ma'ayam mullah ubi kotoya. Shouldn't I direct you to what Allah will use to clean your sin, wayar for the awajat, and lift your position? The companion said, nah, yes, we want to know. He said, is Babul Udui. Perform your ablution very well. When, te, when, alama, when you are not comfortable performing ablution, like during cold weather, everywhere is cold, you perform ablution. It attracts very well. Not when it will send you to the hospital. So you don't insist now. Ah, I want to have that in world. You know, when you are alive, after performing ablution, you are in full stop. You know, we have it common. You are in question mark because there is now a lot of issues. Remember the hadith of Bilal also, where Prophet Muhammad, the wise and Muslim, that what did you do? Yeah, what did you used to do, Bilal, that I had your footstep in paradise? He said, uh, nothing, what I only remember is, there is no time that my ablution will spoil, except because that's the first leg of the hadith, not just the salat he used to do. Whenever I don't have, I'm not in, I make sure I perform ablution. Then I do not fly because of that ablution. So it makes his position to raise that the prophet even had his first step in paradise. Today we don't want to perform ablution. It is a sign of recognition of for the Ummah on the day of Kiyama. Ablution will be light for someone on the day of Kiyama. The hadith said Muslim. The prophet said the beauty, the light of a believer will be how will be the extent of his ablution. The more you perform ablution. So the more, the more it becomes uh, bright. You want generator and you did not uh, on the listing very high. So the generator is coming like our, our, our normal light. It's coming, it's blinking. You know, there are some lights, you plug it, it will off. You do it again, it will start. Uh, but the, as, because it is very strong, that's how your hilia, your beauty, and your light will be on the day of Kiyama. 
You do it ablution always, you are free from shaitan. The prophet said, when you wake up in the morning, or even before that, when you wake up, when, when you want to sleep, perform ablution. It saves you from shaitan. As simple as ablution is, before you sleep. Then you perform, in the morning, when you wake up, the prophet said, when you wake up and you say, you remember Allah, one prayer is long. But the simplest one, Alhamdulillah, he lays your hair on Badama Amatana, while he knew shoot. There, Shaitan used to tie three knots on someone when he's sleeping. Three ropes, tie you to your bed. That's why somebody turning, turning. <laughs> so when you do Alhamdulillah, your hair on one rope will remove. When you perform ablution, the second will remove. It's not that he tie you to the bed, he tie that your day. So that day you become weak, you not engage in good things. When you perform ablution, it removes the second one. The third one will only be removed when you observe your salat is so. So for those who use that salat is by 10 o'clock when they get to work. <laughs> yeah, it's the rope of shaitan, like top hand on your head, going up and down. It's because we are not seeing it. <laughs> then quickly, the way to perform ablution. So today, because of the time, we tell you to measure. <laughs> We might only just be able to mention theory, but because we wanted to do the practical, but let's understand some things. So that when we're not doing the practical, we're not be remembering. I think that's what we do. After doing theory, they now send people, especially medicine. They now go to hospital, we have been taught already. So then, you see that one we told you, you see that iron we have been mentioning yes. But already I have shown you the iron. You see this thing, it says yes, you know the name in that level. Ah, what that for? That's the beginning of the <laughs> So, Sifat is Salat, the way of ablution, one of the best and comprehensive description came from Humuron. His name is Humuron, the free slave of Uthman Ibn Affan. The hadith in Bukhari and Muslim. The very celebrated hadith on how to perform ablution. I'm just going to mention one of it is, yes, the sunnah is good. You use aswaki. Always try to have uh, your aswaki. Not, no. No, now I do. Now I do as well. Are they No, no, I'm not talking about you know, before the ablution. To have a swap, normally swap, that's a chewing stick. If you can get the actual one, it's very hard. It's from the tree of Arak, Arak tree. That's the one. That is even the one that uh, maybe cures some of those two have you. But our normal Dubuya, you know Dubuya, that new tree. Cut the Dubuya. And if you have Dubuya to close to your house, and you want to cut also. We use it together for the brushing of our teeth. Yeah. Make your intention. It's compulsory. Without intention, you have wasted your time. Mention the name of Allah. Bismillah. I'm talking of ablution generally. I'm not mentioning this is sooner this compulsory because it is part of ablution. We should learn all. Intention. Say your Bismillah. Your wrist three times. Take water and dye your wrist. Make sure you, you do separation of your fingers. Water into the mouth. Google it, rinse it, and pour it three times. What are you doing? No, sniff in, take it in. Your left hand, use it to clean. Then you blow it out. It's allowed. You can do it in another way. The same water you put in your mouth like this. And this one, you can do the two at once. You can do the nose and the mouth three times separate. Then you come to the nose. The same way you can do it at once. You put water in the mouth. And as you are go, 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 you take into the nose and bring all together. It's allowed. Cleaning the nose with the left hand, we said, the left. Just, we do not have enough chicken over here. But you need to pack all what you want to pack inside before. Just clean inside, then you, you bring it out. Watch the face. And the face is where the hair begins, to so the beard. The beard is part of the face. So don't just do like this. Do it. It's for you. It's not for the borrow you. So you want to scatter. After you finish, bring your comb, comb it and go. Don't leave yourself too uh, scattered again. Then, wash the hand to the elbow. Not just wash it to the elbow. Don't wash it to this side because the elbow should be covered. Three times. The right, then the left. Then you rub the head. The head and the way is to take it back. We are going to look at it that it should be done like this. And brought not put your thumb. Do like this. Yeah. <laughs> If you are, you, are, you are dividing your head, this one is for my father, this one is for my mother. You will do this for me. That's why I'm putting water. Then the, you, you, rub the, you rub the ear. 
The year is you put water, you put the the Abraham into the year, you clean it like this, then the I said the Abraham, Sababa, sorry. This is the Abraham, the pump. This one is inside. Then this one will clean it. This will to give money different. No? Don't worry about the name, we'll see the hand. <laughs> so, so this one is like you this one to clean inside, then this one so will clean the back. Just like this, clean the back. Then you wash your leg to the to the ankle, the right, then the the left. Make sure you arrange them to explain like this. Do not waste time. If I'm having ablution, go 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 go. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Okay, after finish talking, you just continue from the face yeah, note. Yeah. It should be done at all. There should be continuity. The only way you are allowed is I'm performing ablution. I reach head, for example, my water now poor. And I have to leave here to that place. No problem. It is still connected to the purification. But if it's not connected to the purification, no problem. They had this came that even Omar was performing ablution in a market close to the mosque. The water finished, I have not washed it. You check from the market, enter. Go to the most and wash them from there. Yes. The scholars from there now said if it is still connected. That does not think we are performing abolition. In Buari Market. In Buari Market. You want to be in that enter by and start. You know, anybody you tell that story will, will, will laugh at you. Then you should wash thoroughly, proper washing. And uh, do not uh, waste water. This is uh, where we mentioned today because of our time. Then after that, after your ablution, you just do a shadow la ilaha illallah when I'm Muhammad Abu Rasul. The hadith prophet said, if you do this, he, you will a door. He said the eight doors of paradise will be open to you, and you'll be told to enter from anywhere you like. Some of us don't even do a shadow la ilaha illallah. Allah Muhammad Abu Rasul. Allahumma jalimina tawabi, wa jalimina mutahiri. In one other narration of Ibn Majah. He added that you now even had Subhanakalam of Hamdik, Ashadalai, Ilai, Ilanta, Astabu, Atubu, you are done with your abolition. And uh, maybe when we meet again, we'll now look at Dinawaki, things that spoil abolition. I'm going to mention 12 things or 13. And maybe we need to do that just three or four things. We are going to mention, or even more than that, uh, 12. For now, I have 12 here. That spoils abolition. Then the, the Time we are supposed to perform ablution, even though you have you, it's not compulsory now, but it is a recommend the recommended time to perform ablution and benefits. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We quickly take our questions together.